I'm J.R. Church. Welcome to today's webcast. It's March the 29th, Monday. My time marches on, doesn't it? It's almost April. I have a note here from the Jerusalem Post that former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, John Bolton, expressed concern Sunday that Washington was coming to terms with a nuclear Iran. He said, quote, I'm very much worried that the Obama administration is willing to accept a nuclear Iran. And that's why this, there's this extraordinary pressure on Israel not to attack Iran. He told this to Israeli Army Radio. The former envoy claimed that this pressure was the focus of last week's meeting in Washington between Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and U.S. officials. All the time we thought it was over the building construction uh, of uh, apartments and what have you in the um, East Jerusalem. Evidently, it was not. According to Bolton, that they were discussing Israel's move against Iran, and Obama said no. Uh, Bolton said that the administration has embraced the view prevalent in Europe that the Israeli-Palestinian conflict was the key to the resolution of all the other conflicts throughout the Middle East, including the Iranian conflict. He added that the rift in U.S.-Israel relations stemmed from a fundamental difference in the understanding of Middle East and Israel's role in the Middle East, and it's not really about East Jerusalem at all. Bolton said that the treatment Netanyahu received during his visit, quote, should tell the people of Israel how difficult it's going to be in dealing with Washington for the next couple of years. I guess he's looking forward to the next presidential election. In other words, something's got to happen. Something's going to happen, my friend. I'm convinced that Israel, though they may not go after Iran, uh, because I don't see that in prophecy. I, I don't see that in the Bible. I do see Iran coming after Israel. I'm thinking that since Syria and Egypt are not listed, that there will be a war before the Battle of Gog and Magog to set up the, um, the need for Russia to move against Israel. And Iran, of course, being the number one ally with Russia, uh, that is uh, Gog, in the upcoming battle. It's a famous battle. Ezekiel tells us all about it. And, in fact, the Jews believe, the rabbis believe, that this battle is the last battle. In other words, they think that the battle of Gog and Magog is the same battle that John called Armageddon. I see them as different battles. I see the battle of Gog and Magog moving the world toward the tribulation period, and I see the battle of Armageddon concluding it. So, uh, we don't know exactly what the nuts and bolts of it is until then, but I don't know that Israel will move against Iran at this time. I'm J.R. Church. We'll see you again tomorrow with our analysis of the news.